The month of May brought some record rainfalls to Oklahoma. Here's Brian Arnell on how that may have affected the summer crops. With the recent rains finally uh, wrapping up, we've had a lot of wet ground. We do have a lot of good corn and sorghum that have gotten in the ground, germinated and up, but it's gone through a lot of conditions. All this rain has had impact on the fertility issues as we look at some of these summer crops. Two primary concerns I have that we need to look at. First is the sandy ground near rivers. If you have corn or sorghum on sandy ground, well-drained sandy ground, there's a good likelihood that our mobile nutrients have moved through that profile. I've done a lot of scouting recently, seen a fair deal of nitrogen and sulfur deficiencies on some of the deep, well-drained sandy soils that have had a lot of rain. Keep an eye on it. Look for that yellowing of the tissue. Uh, yellowing of older tissue will be indication of nitrogen deficiency, while upper new growth is more likely going to be a sulfur deficiency. While we don't commonly see sulfur in Oklahoma, this is a year and this is a scenario I'd expect to see some indications of some sulfur deficiencies. Again, on deep, well-drained sandy soils that's had a lot of rain. On the other side, kind of like what we see here, there's going to be a significant amount of corn and sorghum that's coming up in wet soils that have held water for a significant amount of time. In that area, we're likely looking at volatilization. We've probably had losses of nitrogen going upwards. Not only is the crop stunted, it hasn't been able to grow because of the cold, wet soils and, and lack of oxygen, but we've also likely lost a good deal of nitrogen as the water set and pounded there for a long time. We have two options for this to look at. One is go ahead and go out there now as you're scouting, look for those yellow patches as the soil is warming up, as that crop is growing again. You can do a poor man's variable rate fertilizer by going and just hitting those low areas that are yellow with nitrogen now, or you can go field wide. Overall, be looking for deficiencies of our mobile nutrients in your summer crops, nitrogen, sulfur, boron, chloride, those nutrients that will move with water. If it's been standing water though, nitrogen, nitrogen is our biggest nutrient of concern.